test centre. Got my bit of paper ready. If everybody's waiting in line, then we call your registration up there. And then when that's uh, up on board, then you drive in. Right, I've got the report here. Let's take a look and see what we failed on. So it's actually failed on five things, two, two of which are um, connected. Uh, one of them is pretty shocking, actually. I was quite shocked to see it. I mean, overall, I'm not surprised that it failed, really, because it's a 24-year-old car, so I was expecting something. But what it did fail on was a bit, a bit, a bit surprising. So the first one there is the uh, brakes. So the back brake on the right side, it wasn't braking enough. Um, so I don't know if that's going to be the, the pad or the disc or the, or the, the piston maybe is, is stuck, I'm not sure. And then underneath that is the, the handbrake, which is obviously sort of linked to that one. So the handbrake's not sort of secure in the car enough. So the next one, um, also the brakes, and this is a shocking one, is that it's missing which one? It's missing the one of the screws off of the, the caliper, which was quite a shock. So I, I checked the video from the the episode that I did changing the the the, um, the discs, and it it I did do it up. I, I checked and it was done up, and I did it to the, the correct torque. So somewhere along the line, it's obviously come off or come out I don't know how that's happened the next thing is the exhaust it's holes in the middle silencer or perforation so I have to check that and then the last thing which is a bit annoying brake discs because they're not smooth they've got a pattern on them I'm not sure if you call that ventilated or not but um, they need to know that they are the right specification for a Fiat Barchetta so if I put smooth discs on with no pattern on, then they wouldn't have said anything but because I've gone for sort of patterned ones. I need to sort of see something that they are correct. So um, I've got some paperwork, I think, um, which I might be able to, to show them. Just have a look. I've downloaded this from the Brembo website. So hopefully this is going to be enough uh, for them to see that it's for the car. So I'm going to take that into the office and sort of show them and ask if that's correct. Because if I've got to pay an engineer to get a report to say that it's the, the correct disc and that's gonna end up costing more than just putting plain discs on. So I need to find out first. The emissions it actually passed on, which I was surprised at, but I've got to give all credit to the, the guy that did the test because he spent about, I don't know, a good five or 10 minutes, um, you know, getting me to rev the engine, holding it at certain revs, revving it high. Um, just to get it through and get the pass and so luckily um, it passed on that so maybe the, the little job I did on the mass airflow sensor helped um, you never know um, but I'm glad it passed that anyway so we'll go and look at the car now and we'll look, look at um, all these little problems and see if we can see exactly what we've got to repair all right the first thing I want to check is this front brake caliper and the missing screw I've got it on that bit of wood because the car's too late for the jack the easiest thing to fix is hopefully this one and then the back brakes hopefully that will too difficult the one I'm not looking forward to is the exhaust just try and get underneath the car and get it higher and change what I need to change turn the wheel up so you can see so we can get a better look at what's going on and it looks like it might have snapped off I'm going to have to take the whole the whole thing apart to see if the other one's still there I'll take it apart and uh, have a closer look. Alright, that's one screw out. Right? I think the screw snapped off, so what I'm going to do is take the disc off first. And then take the disc off, and then we can take it all out and look at how we're going to get the screw out. Right, this should all come off in one. So 
So yeah, you can see there, so the, the bolt has actually snapped off. So I've got to try and find a way of getting that out. Um, and I need to get another bolt from somewhere as well. Okay, so that's job number one. What I'm going to try and do is try and turn it. Oops. sheared off so yeah, I've been quite lucky I think lucky that the other one didn't break off as well and it, I don't know what I've meant it been dragging on as I was driving and lucky I was able to get it out but I think what I'll do now now this one's broken I'm gonna get I'm gonna replace all of them all four bolts um, all four screws just to be on the safe side there we go let's take the back wheel off now so we can check to see what's going on with the, the back brakes Right, let's get the wheel off and then we'll see what's going on behind. This is actually the first time I've taken the, the back wheels off. Okay, well that this looks pretty bad to start with. So that's a look. This looks quite old and scored. And the pads. Well, like there's much left on the pads, so that could be why it's not breaking very well. So maybe I need new discs on there and new pads. Okay, I'm going to start the car up and then I'll look at the exhaust and see if I can see exactly where the holes are or perforations are that it's built on. So the hole I found it is, is here. So, I'm going to replace all this section here. And um, we'll see, I'll check the cost and see what's needed. But that's, that's the problem there. So I think this will make a good episode. I've never changed an exhaust before. But I don't know how hard it can be. Oh, they look a bit weepy, those shock absorbers, but he didn't say there was a problem with those. And that rubber doesn't look good, but anyway, I think that's for another time. That's a wrap, thanks for watching. As you can see, there's quite a few little jobs to do, um, which will be coming up in the next few episodes. I need to get them all done um, in the next few weeks so I can get the, the retest done. Um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. It's really important, it helps the channel to grow, so I'd really appreciate it if you, if you could. Hit the notifications bell and you'll receive a message when the next video drops. Thanks for watching.